Insomnia Foundation is thrilled to announce the app that is just out and released for our 2015 Building Our Future Together Hypersomnia Foundation Conference. So you can download our app, whether or not you have a Windows phone or an Android phone or tablet or an iOS smartphone or tablet. You can download this app and use it for the conference event. You can plan your sessions and, and check out the speakers, bios, and all of those wonderful things all ahead of time before you ever step foot into the conference venue. So let me show you how to find it and download it, and then I'll take you on a brief little tour around the app. So I'm on um, an iOS device. This is a, an iPhone device, and I'm going to go into my app store just like I would do to download any other app. If you are on an Android device, you probably visit your Google Play Store, right? So now that I'm in my app store, I'm going to tap search at the bottom because I'm going to search for this app. The name of it is called Event Base. Okay, so you can see that it's popped up here, Event Base, the free event app for everyone. The Hypersomnia Foundation feels strongly about not spending donated funds on creating an app, a native app for the conference. So we're going to use a free app called Event Base. We're going to upload all of our information into that particular app program. And that way, everybody can download it and use it for free, and it also doesn't cost the Hypersomnia Foundation anything. So I've actually already downloaded this app, so I'm going to tap Open, and it's going to go ahead and open that app for me. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to search the thousands of events that are in Event Base. I'm going to search for the Hypersomnia Foundation event by tapping in the search bar, and I'm going to type in Hypersomnia Foundation. Okay, so as I type that in, you can see that the event has now popped up. Building Our Future Together is the name of our conference this year, 2015 Hypersomnia Foundation Conference. The first time that I did this, it took about two minutes for this app to search through the thousands of events that are loaded into the app to find and locate this particular version of the app. So if it says no events found, just give it a few minutes and let it, you know, search through all the other events to finally bring this up so it will work for you. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the Building Our Future Together event. And once I do that, it takes me to sort of the home page. So on this page, it gives me the title of the event. I can scroll down and tap show more to read the description about the conference. It tells me the dates and the location of the conference. And yep, that's the one I want. So I'm going to go ahead and tap launch event guide. So once I do that, it, it takes me into kind of the home page. And as you can see here, it's showing me what's available on Friday, July 17th. I can tap the right hand arrow and it will show me what's available on Saturday, July 18th. So you can look at it that way. I'm going to go back to Friday for just a second. Across the bottom, in the blue band at the very bottom, you'll see schedule, presenters, maps, social media, and my agenda. So I'm going to tap back to schedule for a second. So what the schedule shows you is day by day in chronological order what's happening on that particular day. So I can see, for example, that the first thing happening on Friday is the trip to the Georgia Aquarium. So if I tap on this, it will open it up, and I can see that it's from 1 to 5 at the aquarium. I can open the description and read all about that trip. Oh, I see I need to purchase a ticket for this outing. If I continue to scroll down, it shows me that it's a social event and that there are two social events available for this conference. If I tap on that, it shows me what both of those social events are. So I'm going to go back. I can also send a tweet um, onto Twitter here that I'm going to attend the Georgia Aquarium trip if I want. I can post it to Facebook. I can share that via text message with somebody or via an email that I'm going to go on this aquarium trip. If I tap the 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. area here, then it will take me to um, a map area of the aquarium where the aquarium is located and the directions to the aquarium. So I'm going to tap back, but if you're coming to the aquarium, don't worry, we're going to take a, a bus over there from the hotel venue. So I'm going to tap back. Let's say that I know I'm going on the aquarium. I'm going to go ahead and tap the little star next to the aquarium, and that will put it into this bottom area called my agenda. 
So any sessions that you see that you definitely want to attend, go ahead and tap that star and favorite it, and it will put it into your agenda automatically. I can also see here on Friday that there is registration available from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., and I see that it's in the hotel lobby. I can read a little bit of a description about the registration. I also see that there are two registration events. So if I want to, if I miss this registration Friday afternoon and I want to know when the next registration is, I can tap on that and it will tell me that there's also another registration available at 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., but it's in a different location. So let's go back. Okay, that's about it for me on Friday. Maybe I'll go ahead and register on Friday. I'm going to go into Saturday now. And it will, again, show me everything that's available in chronological order. So I see that there's all-day refreshments, a continental breakfast, there's going to be a nap room, there's registration, there's a silent auction that's available. Oh, look, here's a, a keynote at 9 o'clock from 9 to 9.50. So if I tap on that, I can see that that's going to be in the Emory Amphitheater. The person speaking is Dr. Arnoff. I can tap to read a little bit more about the keynote session. I can, um, again, send a social media message about that. What's also really interesting to me about this app is that if I tap on Dr. Arnoff here, I can go ahead and read her bio, read a little bit about her. I can also scroll down to the very bottom here, and I have the option to take notes in here. And when I'm finished taking notes, I can tap on the export notes. Whoops. I can tap on the export notes button. And I can either just export this one note or all notes. So I'll just say this one. And it gives me the option I can email it to myself. And all of my notes, as you can see, will be um, emailed to me, which is wonderful. So I'm going to cancel out of that. And I'm going to go back. And I'm going to go back again because I want to see what else is going on. So I definitely want to attend the keynote. Then I can see that there are several different 10 o'clock sessions that I'm going to have to decide between. So maybe I want to learn about GABA 101. And I can see that this is a, let me see what that little microphone means. I'm going to scroll down. So that's a concurrent session. So if I tap on that, it shows me all the concurrent sessions that are available throughout the conference day, and I can go back. So if I like those particular sessions, I can go ahead and favorite those. So I can see that this particular session is going to be held in the Oak Amphitheater, and that um, Dr. Freeman is going to be the one who's giving this particular session. When I tap on her, I can actually see that she's giving this session twice, and so I have two different time periods and two different rooms that I could go and hear this particular session. So let's go back for just a second, and I'm going to go back again. Now, be careful here because I have made this mistake several times. I accidentally see the E in the back arrow up in the corner up there. Guess what? If you tap on that, it kicks you out, and you have to start all over again. So I'm going to tap to go back in. I'm going to tell it to launch my event guide, and then I'm back inside the app. So once that little back icon goes away, See how it says back at the top now? Once it turns back into that E, stop tapping it because it'll kick you out. Okay, so across the bottom, I can tap on presenters and I can tap on speakers and I can see all the different speakers that are going to be uh, speaking at this particular conference. They're listed in alphabetical order by first name. So let's say I tap on um, Dr. Jenkins and I want to see when his sessions are because I, I happen to like Dr. Jenkins and I want to hear his session. So I can tap to add him to my favorites and I can see he's doing two sessions also. I can scroll down and read a little bit about his bio. I can also see that he has shared a website where I can um, tap and visit his website, learn a little bit more about him if I would like to do that. So I just want to show you a couple more things. I'm going to tap back again, and I'm going to tap at the bottom. This time I'm going to tap on Map because I do want to show you this. It defaults to the venue address and the latitude and longitude of the venue. However, if I tap on this little maps icon at the top right hand side, then it gives me the option to look at the Emory Conference Center map. So I'm going to tap on that one. Now I can actually make this a lot bigger. Okay, so I know that Emory Amphitheater was one of our rooms. 
And I know that the Oak Amphitheater was one of our rooms in Azalea. So I can actually keep this map up like this. And throughout my day, I can come back to this page. So if I go back to my schedule and I'm looking to see what sessions I want to go to. Oh, okay, this one's in Hickory. Now I can tap back on my map icon at the bottom. And I can find out where the Hickory room is and make sure that I can navigate my way to the Hickory room, for example. So let me tap on the social icon and I'll show you that. This is where you can visit the Hypersomnia Foundation website. You can visit our Facebook page and like us there, and that way you can get all of those updates to your Facebook. You can visit our Twitter feed, and you can also post to our Twitter feed by using the hashtag HFConference2015. You can also visit our YouTube page by just tapping on these buttons. It will take you right there. You can visit our website and all of those good things. And then the last but not least is my agenda. So as I was reading through all of those sessions and looking at the speaker's bios, I favorited some things. Remember that? So here's where all of my favorite things are going to show up. So I can see that on Friday I have a couple of things. On Saturday I have the keynote that's saved. If I tap onto speakers, then I have my favorite speakers saved here. I can also, if you tap on this little alarm clock, I can add, um, add to my calendar, so if I turn that on, it will ask me if I want to set a reminder for myself. So if I want to remind myself five or ten minutes before a particular session starts, I can set that reminder as well. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off, and I'm going to say that I'm done. And again, on the bottom, I'm going to go back to my schedule. So this is where I'm going to try to kind of stay all day so that I can see basically everything that's, that's going on for my day. So that's basically the app. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful, and we look forward to seeing you at the conference in July.